Hey, welcome back. Fancy seeing you guys here. Who would have thunk, right? Not me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, welcome back. We are here to watch uh, Season 3, Episode 2 of Heartstopper. Uh, sorry for the weird intro. It's just who I am. I get nervous when this many of you are here. <laughs> um, this episode is called Home. Uh, Nick's on holiday for three whole weeks. Charlie is not. So he's going to be panicking and struggling, and hopefully positive things will happen. Last episode ended brilliantly, though. Um, we had a brief bit of panic when he didn't, when Nick didn't immediately say "I love you." Um, I think he was just like shocked <laughs> and in awe. But then he literally sprinted down the street to to tell Charlie that he loved him back. And it was nice, and it was beautiful. And then the episode ended. Like, what the f, guys? <laughs> how do you just, how do you just stop pissing me off? Um, so we're here, and we're excited to watch episode two. Before we jump into it, though, if you end up enjoying my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. I will also be doing early access for this show on Patreon as well. So if you're interested in getting uh, the next reaction early, consider subscribing. But other than that, let's jump into Season 3, Episode 2 of Heartstopper. H-R-T-T-R-G-R Ye can take me heart to gar. <laughs> Sorry, that's Australian Chapel Room, in case you're curious. Ah, there he is, my favorite nephew. Oh. Hey, John David. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Uncle Rich. How are you? I'm good, thank good you. Good to see you. Rich, I hope you get hit by a bus so I can marry her instead. <laughs> yeah, it's shame I'm had to pull out. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, there's always next year. God, she's stunning. You guys should watch uh, the new Mission Impossible movie that she's in. You'll have a whole new sexual awakening all over again. It's incredible. Text me when you land? I thought they were driving. Brother. Isn't that your school assignment? You're gonna have to cross that out. Or your teacher is gonna get some weird ideas. Bravo. Don't be daydreaming. Aeropuerto. Hit sand. Hit sand. It's important. Hit sand. Come on, brother. Uh, Charlie. Can you tidy up a bit in here, please? The room looks a mess. Charlie, listen to your mother. Did you do it? Do what? You know what? <laughs> yeah. And he said it back? Yeah, literally chased him down the street to say it back. It's a mixed bag. Actually, I... So we were in the sea, and... and... And Nick was, like... He said that he was worried that... I... <laughs> hey! Hey! Made it, yeah? Uh, yeah. It's so close. I can't hear you. Charlie, I think signals. Charlie, Nick. Text messages, Charlie, baby. Charlie, I don't see any tidy. Hang on, Nick. I... Okay, come on, put the phone down. You can talk to Nick later. Charlie, yeah. Can't be giving Great. your mom attitude like that. Okay, we need to have a talk about Nick anyway. You shouldn't be staying late around his house. You're too young to be having sex. What? <laughs> That's a. You came home yesterday wearing his clothes. Well, that's because I... After the whole coursework situation, I'm just, I'm worried. Mum, you're literally making a problem out of nothing. Yeah, I'm only saying she's, this because I'm worried about him. There's a straw man argument. She made a gigantic Charlie, leap. 
Can you please not undermine me like that in front of him? Well, you You're was... being too hard. Yeah. Yo, I agree with his sister. She made a large jump to, like, the worst thing. I was just talking to my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Well, we have a lot to catch up on, don't we? How about once I've unpacked, you give me the full story over a glass of red and some breadsticks? Hell yeah. Sounds good. You guys got Olive Garden? Unlimited breadsticks. You have all the time in the world to talk about that story. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about you and your boyfriend. Hi. Well, maybe not boyfriend. 11 o'clock on the dot. At least nighttime lovers. <laughs> you guys should kiss again. You're gonna meet in the middle. It'll be like uh, Lady and the Tramp. Except school assignments instead of spaghetti. <laughs> See how close you're getting? You're gonna hold hands. Morning all. <coughs> Morning. Get out of here. We're having a moment. Go behind that curtain. You are playing a very <laughs> dangerous game. Fun though. Why is everyone in this show just so cute together? I'll personally fight any examiner who gives you a back rate. Good luck, brother. Can I You're just getting get a good cooked. kiss? You absolute weirdo. Wow. Damn, whose small ass car is this? Driving a friggin' smart car to school. And remember, bad grades aren't the worst thing in the world. You? I left school at 14. Look at me now. Thriving. Thank you, Gran. <laughs> Damn. Your Gran is a part of the Slovene. <laughs> don't, don't move in with her. She's gonna unzip her forehead and kill you. Hey. <laughs> You're gonna get top grades. I know you will. God, Might think of how many freaking clowns you could fit in that car. Probably so many. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. That's so funny. Her mom li li drives like a literal clown car. <laughs> oh my god, I got eight in drama! <laughs> well, there's no surprise there. Uh, what did you get in I got an eight. Oh no, Darcy, did you fail? Nines across the board! Hell yeah. Excellent work. I hope you'll be joining our Roxbridge prep group in September. You're a smart cookie. Why are you upset about that? You crushed it. You did so well. Exams mean nothing. She's gonna go party, jump up and down in her own personal space. Chale! Sixes and sevens? What are you doing, bud? Pick it up. <laughs> Charlie just texted. I passed all my GCSEs. Hey, that's yes. fantastic! Congratulations! Never We're not in surprised, are we? No. We really need to meet Charlie. I'm dying to know what he's like. You'll have to bring him around for Christmas because he needs family approval. Or you could bring him on holiday next year. I have a vendetta against this man for no good reason. <laughs> I hate that man with every fiber of my being. I wish death upon him. Wow, this is so cute. They're both having daydreams. Oh, no. Don't let the darkness in. Ask him if he's eaten today. Okay, dude. A little thirst trap for you, boo. Hey, guys, I thought we were all going to Nando's to celebrate results. That's like the only reason that I'm here. Oh my God, I totally forgot. Me and I were gonna go to the park. I kind of have to stop packing. 
fat rip. Another time, Isaac. Promise. We'll we'll do a movie night soon. Isaac, go with Charlie. He's got no one to hang out with. I guess it's just you and me then. Don't bail on him. No, we're good. Another time. Yeah. Charlie, Definitely. you. Isaac feels so alone. Charlie. <sighs> you rap scallion. I know. You thought you could sneak in that Jonathan Bailey. Dinner's ready. Cameo. Pre cameo. I'm not hungry. Pre appearance. Right, and I wouldn't notice. You're abandoning me again. I don't want to see mom. Yeah, your mom Loki kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. She's uh, she's looking out for you. She's slightly overbearing, but damn, son, you don't look remotely happy in that picture. Poor child. A three week vacation is kind of a long vacation. Speak the truce. Speak the truce. Tell him you're worried. You look like a lovesick puppy, dear nephew. Do I? Hello, Haley. I am diagnosed with you today? with a severe case of smitten. <laughs> I have a severe case of smitten. Do you, um... Do you ever treat people with eating disorders? Sometimes. She's like, oh it's shit, we're talking about real stuff. But it tends to go hand in hand with other things. Why? I don't know. I'm just curious. Brother, you're gonna think, you're gonna make her think it's about you. You need a nice poster of a handsome boy up there. I'm a lesbian, Bram. Oh. Your dad never told me that. <laughs> You've been very tower obsessed. We've hardly seen you. He's been taking me out on a date. Like, every day. Every That's day? That's good. Brother. Isn't it? Yeah, but... I think I'd shoot myself if someone <laughs> didn't want to hang on me every day. Like Sorry, that was very dramatic. Scared, I'm going to I would not him do that, not but I would. Friend. I would ignore them for a while. How can I make him feel more confident and relaxed about our relationship? Oh, I just don't know. What to oh, do. Ask him really to marry you. Spend the one evening we have with you. Talk <laughs> Propose, about Elle. Okay? No, okay. <laughs> Sorry. He'll feel very secure in this relationship if you propose marriage. What's up? I'm worried. I don't know. I love you. Wow. Oh, damn, okay. Cold time. A very stark tonal shift in those two scenes. Oh, oh this is gonna be what? the thing from the trailer. Oh, that's... My mum found this when she That's was clearing a, out the loft. It's a camcorder. We've been, like, trying to give some stuff away. But he was always using this when I was a little kid, so... I thought I'd keep it. Give it to her. She can film home movies for you. We don't talk about your dad a lot. About her day and school and stuff. I wish I'd met him. Oh, he would have loved you. <laughs> he was so creative. He'd always be taking photos of me. I, I'd hate it. I'd never sit still and pose for them. I wish... I wish I'd sat still. And I wish I'd posed. <laughs> you poor boy. <laughs> When's Charlie getting here? 
Um, I, Charlie I died. Know, he didn't really reply to the group chat, so. You're the last to know. What are your ticklish points? Oh. Huh? Yeah, you guys, <laughs> you guys, Stop. read the friggin' room, brother and sister. Like, do you not think it's weird that Charlie hasn't been replying to the group chat? Oh, he's probably with Nick or something. But Nick went on holiday. Oh. Charlie's been like silent ever since then. Isaac, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, also he hates my movie choices, so that he didn't work out. You guys are not very observant of your friend. <laughs> Bro, I think Isaac's about to commit <laughs> double out. homicide. I'm gonna head off, actually, guys. <laughs> no, Isaac, please. And he would be justified. Have a good one. But five we... minutes. Just five more minutes. Nah, hell nah. Isaac's gonna come back with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you would be right. Oh my god, that would be so annoying. Hey. Hey. Forced hey. friendship. Yeah. You're missing movie night. Yeah. I mean, you're not missing much. It's just towered out all over each other. Yeah, facts. I would have left too. What's going on, Charlie? What? Well, you don't want to hang out with us anymore. And I'm just feeling a little bit left out. To be honest. I know. I... I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry. I just. <sighs> I'm just sorry. He can't it's even. Fine, Charlie, it's, it's not the end of the world. He doesn't want to vocalize what's going on. I just on. wanted to make sure that you're okay. I'm okay. It's a group effort. Do you want me to go? No. Let's watch a movie. What's that Emma adaptation? Oh, you know that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't. That was so funny. I don't know why. You know that's my favorite. <laughs> oh, this is so much better than getting third wheeled into oblivion at that other house. Who's your best friend? Probably my brother. Dad's done a roast. It'll be absolutely flavorless, but you know he loves doing a roast. Okay. What was that about my cooking skills? Just saying a bit more seasoning wouldn't go amiss. Your ass in the kitchen, bud. Wait, did, yeah. Charlie, can you come help me lay the table? <laughs> you please? suck. It's harsh, real harsh. Take an online cooking class, you scrub. <laughs> Sorry, I'm legit just so toxic. I can't. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Invasion of privacy? Oh. 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 He's gonna feel like he's getting ganged up on. You've lost someone in the past and you're scared of it happening uh, again. Yeah, he's got abandonment issues. I forgot about that. I've had I'm the best sorry. of my entire life. But oh. Lambert oh. is important to me. So yeah, we may not be able to hang out every single day, but that doesn't mean I like you any less. I think she probably likes you less hanging out with you every day. You know, there's a the phrase absence Seriously. makes the heart grow Tao. fonder, Tao. Learn it. Oh. I love you. Wait. Really? Wow. Hello. 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 That looks so good too. Look at those carrots, brother. Eat those. Those look incredible. Long ass broccoli. Put that in your mouth, brother. <laughs> Charlie, is something wrong? Are you not feeling very well? No, I'm eating very much. Don't tell me. Is it the seasoning? It is. You're trash in the kitchen, bud. Oh, yes, the bathroom. Okay. I don't know. I'm sort of missing good old English one. <laughs> I hate you. I hate when you speak. <laughs> it's pure jealousy, but I hate your guts. 
Just... You okay, Nick? Yeah, I'm just gonna. I just gotta go and talk to Charlie. I'll, I'll catch you guys up though. Okay. Nick, Charlie, can you hear me okay? Are you okay? I was just wondering if you've been eating okay. Hey. <sighs> Charlie? Did you hear what I said? Yeah. God damn it. <sighs> I think you were right. I think I do have an eating disorder. Sorry. Don't apologize, dude. Oh. It's okay. I don't know what to do. Charlie? What are you doing? Nothing. Are you in here texting Nick? We're having a family dinner. I wasn't feeling very well. Girl, can you not see that he's crying? I don't know. Charlie, you can't keep skipping dinner. You have to eat. I don't feel well. Come on, come downstairs. I'll get you some paracetamol. Charlie. I have to go. Oh my God. Sorry, I, I love you. Why do you have to do this to me? <sighs> we had happiness last episode and now it's sadness. <sighs> What's going on? You've had something on your mind this whole holiday. Charlie has an eating disorder. Oh. Right, um... Uh, are you sure? Yeah. He just can't eat sometimes. A lot of the time. Which makes him really anxious. Been getting really bad recently. Like. Trying to get him to talk to me about it, maybe talk to his parents or something, but he just says he just can't. It's so hard. You can't talk to him about stuff like that. To uh, allow others to see you I don't know what vulnerable to do now. and weak. I, can't I understand force him to why eat, he then it just make him doesn't upset. want to talk about it. God, this kid's such a good actor. I really love him. Single tier acting school. And I'm scared. Oh, come a double tier from a single eye acting school. Oh. Christ. You're a 16 year old kid. <sighs> that is a lot to put on the shoulders <clears throat> of a 16 year old. Yeah. I, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know how to fix him. It's not up to you to fix him. That is not your Maybe responsibility. You I have to be. I'm, I'm his boyfriend. I know, and I know that you love him so, so much. And I, I know that you think it's your job to save him. And I know that it feels like you are each other's whole world. Charlie needs someone who isn't his 16-year-old boyfriend. He needs a professional. He needs help from a doctor or a therapist. Someone that understands eating disorders and knows how to treat them. Love can't cure a mental illness. So I just can't do anything? No. You can contribute, but... The... You can be there for him. The larger part of it is not on you. But also yeah. knowing that sometimes People need more support than one person can give. Yeah, trying to exclusively take this on... That's love, darling. ...is not good for anybody. God, I 
want Haley Apple to hug me. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. How do you end the episode there? <sighs> this was heavy. This was heavy. God, did not want to cry this early. <laughs> Pissing me off. Whew, that was a heavy one. <laughs> that was a... Can't imagine being part of that. Yeah, like, I... I don't know. I've never had that situation in my life where I've had to... Like, I've never had to be that support system for someone. Like, obviously, I've been friends with people and been connected to people that have been going through things like just tough situations but I've never I've never had to be like the sole main support pillar for someone who's going through like a huge thing like something that I can't adequately take on right that's like, that's such a huge thing to try and put on that child. Like, she said it, you're 16. Like, this is massive. This is something that should be handled by a doctor or a psychiatrist. This is not something that, like, you should feel the responsibility to be the main or sole, uh, you know, guardian of, right? Like, this is not on you, brother. And it sucks so much that, like, he feels the need to be like the one person standing between Charlie and like oblivion right but you know it's understandable a little bit that he does feel that way because he's 16 <laughs> right 16 year olds when they're in a relationship with someone they think this is it this is everything this is the world <laughs> right it's why it's why so many um relationships like high school relationships don't last is because at the time you think this person's the entire world and then you go off to the rest of the world and you realize never mind <laughs> like that's not everything and so right now he thinks charlie and him are each are each other's entire world and that is having negative consequences not just on their personal mental health struggles but also the rest of their friend group particularly isaac um i feel so bad for that kid he's catching strays unintentional strays from other people's relationships and as 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 an individual who's um aromantic that is extra devastating right because he doesn't feel that connection or desire to be in a relationship but all of his friends are in a relationship and he is not just like feeling left out but like like he's not just left out because other things are going on but like he's left out as a direct result of their relationships like poor kid just just can't catch a break honestly i feel so bad for him but yeah the the main meat and potatoes <laughs> sorry the the main part of this episode i feel like weird saying the main meat and potatoes considering the episodes about an eating disorder where he literally refused to eat meat and potatoes um the main the main aspect of this episode obviously covers Charlie and his eating disorder and the impact that is having on himself and the people around him. His sister, incredibly worried. Um, his boyfriend, obviously incredibly, incredibly worried, but nobody else is aware, right? His mother, his father, not aware. Um, Isaac is loosely aware that something's wrong. But Tao and L, no idea. Image and Technologies, who has been criminally absent from the show so far, she has no idea. Um, that random girl that be hanging around. 
the, sorry, part of the sh Sahara, Shahara, hate club, prime, president, numero uno, hate that girl. Just kidding, there's nothing wrong with her. Like, people don't, people, like, nobody, not enough people know. And not a pe enough people are there to support him. And that sucks. It sucks a lot. It's clearly having a huge impact on him. Um, and it's, like, I, I don't know necessarily what the best course of action is. I'm not a licensed professional um, to to deal with that sort of thing, so I don't I don't feel comfortable like giving out advice other than you know eat <laughs> like eat a cor correct amount of food and be healthy. Um, that's that's the best advice I can give, but I don't have you know methodology to implement that in someone else's life if that makes sense and I don't feel qualified to to suggest you know different ways to implement healthy eating habits I don't know like the best I can say is that you should have healthy eating habits I don't think I'm qualified enough to talk about that necessarily in regards to an eating disorder. I can talk all day about depression and anxiety because I've personally dealt with that and personally feel that. For the eating disorder aspect, I kind of just have to step aside and be like empathetic towards the situation. I don't know, it's tough to talk about it without um, fully being able to feel comfortable addressing it in a, in a educated manner <laughs> that makes sense um yeah so i think I'll, I'll leave that to the professionals i'll just say it's devastating watching these p people these fictional characters um in emotional distress over these things um seeing both those children cry hit like a truck i mean like went through this last season the finale of last season i was bawling um this was also hard just it sucks watching these kids like struggle because <laughs> i ah, it's it's tough it's so tough um especially when it's like legitimately impacting so many people it like it's not just an isolated thing it's it's <sighs> it's tough, it's tough. Um, let's step aside from Charlie and Nick, and let's talk about Darcy and, and Tara. They are living with an alien. <laughs> or, uh, not necessarily. Tara is living with an alien. <laughs> Her grandmother is a Slovene. How does she feel safe in that household? Come on now. This Slovene literally drives a ca uh, clown car around and is gonna kill this child. <laughs> uh, that's that's basically the extent of what I have to say about that storyline this episode because nothing really happened um, other than she blocked her mom's phone number at one point. Um, interest we'll see how that develops. Um, what else? L and Tao. They said I love you. That was an interesting storyline. I simultaneously love how cute they are, but they very much pissed me off this episode. Like I was, I was so mad um, at them because they're just so lost in each other's sauce that they have Isaac leaving, like, like, oh my god, like, it's so tough, like, they're so focused on each other that they don't know what's going on with Charlie, they don't know what's going on with Isaac, like, two of their biggest friends, like, the this group of four are, like, their best friends, and, like, these two are just so obsessed with each other and so focused on exclusively each other that they're 
not paying attention to their friends' struggles. Like, they're not even noticing their friends' struggles at all. You know, granted, they're not necessarily, like, being super vocal about it, but, like, they're not even concerned, like, at all. That That's frustrating, um, but I think, weirdly, the most frustrating, annoying part of this episode about them was they're sitting there watching a movie with Isaac, like, the three of them watching a movie, and they are spending the whole time, like, tickling each other and giggling, and he he calls them out, he's like, are we gonna watch this movie? And I was like, yo, <laughs> like, <laughs> straight up, I was like, Isaac's about to commit a double homicide. <laughs> like, these, these people are gonna end up on the news. <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh, he, he left for good reason. Uh, cause he, like, how do you, oh my god, like, it's, I feel so bad for him. Like, he's just, he feels on the outs of life in general. Like, he feels different than everyone else, which is already devastating enough. But then his, like, one area of comfort, which is his friend's, are like also inadvertently pushing him out. It sucks. And then he goes to Charlie and Charlie lies to him about what's going on with his life. And you know, I don't blame Charlie for lying necessarily. Like that's an incredibly tough thing to talk about and admit willingly and publicly to people you care about. Like allowing, allowing people you care about to see you vulnerable and see you in pain is so hard. Um, so I don't, I don't blame him at all, but it's, it's tough. Like, I feel so bad for Isaac. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about this episode. I think it, overall, I am just bummed. <laughs> like, I'm just sad about all of it. It, like, this was, a uh, there was, like, no happiness <laughs> in this episode. There, I mean, there was a couple things here and there. The the gay professors at the beginning, they had a fun little cute time. Um, kids passed their classes. That's rad, I guess. Everything else, pure devastation. <laughs> Just, there's the worst. Oh, hold on, pause. The, the worst devastation is... Finding out that in this fictional universe, Haley Atwell is happily married. Ugh. What the? <laughs> She's actually probably happily married in real life, too. Um, <laughs> but this, this poor man, I don't know who this actor is. I hold nothing against you, sir. Uh, I hate your fictional character's guts. <laughs> I hope, I hope you experience nothing but pain and misery. I hope, I hope Haley Atwell's fictional character divorces you and you end up destitute on the street. <laughs> you, you son of a <laughs> Oh man. Just, just pure jealousy. <laughs> like, I, as soon as this man popped into frame, if I wasn't, if I wasn't sitting in a chair already, I would have dropped to my knees. You know those memes like just drop to my knees in a Walmart. <laughs> like, uh, it's like when uh, when the other day when Cameron Brink posted that she got engaged, I was like, no. Nah! <laughs> like, what is the meme from uh, the meme from Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> I believe it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, where he's like, it should have been me, not him, me. <laughs> like, oh man. Oh. No, again, nothing against that actor, but, ooh, buddy, that fictional character, you, you best, you, I'm, a, I'm coming for you. <laughs> now, um, I'm curious how much of the rest of the series Haley Atwell will be in. Um, if this was all, all we got of her, pfft, crushed it. She's amazing. She's a goddess. She can do no wrong. Um, you know, <laughs> but hopefully she's in more of, of the, of the show. Uh, I, I really enjoy her, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think it's all I have to say. Uh, again, sorry for the sadness on my end. Like I have arguably nothing of value 
uh, to say about the episode. All I can say is that it hurt. So there's that. Um, hopefully you guys are doing better than I am <laughs> in regards to this. Uh, if you're not, hopefully you have someone to talk to. Um, if you need someone to talk to, you can message me on Instagram. I'm not going to be a doctor for you by any means, but if you just need someone to talk to, I'll be there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's all I got. So, uh, again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my reaction, please leave a like. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And then if you want to see the full uncut, consider supporting me on Patreon. That would mean the world. Other than that, though, that's all I got. So I will catch you guys next time.